Hello everyone. This is your host Rohan Tandil from InnoHealth Magazine Studio. I welcome you to this podcast produced by Innovation Curious with a mission to spread awareness and knowledge of various facets of healthcare innovation. This podcast is the 10th in the series Voices of IC Innovator from InnoHealth Magazine, the first magazine in India on healthcare innovation. In this series, we would be exploring the essence of the IC Innovator Club through its club members perspectives. Today, we are going to have a conversation with our guest speaker Mr. Girish Bharadwaj. He is a mechanical engineer from Bangalore University with over 24 years of experience in sales, marketing, product management, lighting consultancy, lighting design, product design, mentorship, educationist, educationalist, trainer, non-invasive therapist and circular economy trainer. He is also a member of various institutions working on healthcare innovation like Society for Research on Biological Rhythm USA, Sleep Research Society USA. Circular Economic Club UK and many more. Welcome, Mr. Paradwaj, to our podcast. How are you today, sir? Yeah, hi. Good morning. I'm very fine. How are you today? Sir, I'm all good. So now coming to the podcast, let me elaborate you on the flow of this podcast. I'd be asking you a series of questions, and we may discuss your views and opinions on it. So let us begin. So as we know, we grow in our career with the help of various experiences, be it good or bad. Those experiences bring in some important lessons. the realization of which depends on the person so my question to you is what is that one thing or that one lesson that you wish you knew at the start of your career or say you made a realization of which after many years and would have preferred otherwise astonishing question <laughs> to begin with amazing okay say uh, i wish i could have learned the science of life as well as the phenomenon of molecular mechanism uh, about the plants and humans and everyone from the very start of my life nevertheless i think i'm on it over last 5 uh, years or one decade and now with the platform from ic innovative curious i should i i should be excelling in this so coming to my next question through our life and career we use many things as stepping stones to grow and develop to be the ideal personality or role that we want to play in our future some of that enabling us to take a major leap due to its deep impact on our minds so my question to you is what are the resources that had a major influence on you as a professional or as an individual oh definitely there are uh, many resources but uh, if i confine them and frame them i would start with people and uh, the books on uh, various subjects like universe uh, microbiology physiology light new and and uh, to begin with rather uh, mother nature these are the resources um along with books or primarily you know uh, the the seminars which i have attended so these are the resources which has enabled me to to pursue the passion and the career path and they have influenced a lot on me moving ahead like resources we come across many personalities whose life decisions or maybe passion towards the career or any other attribute wants us to mirror those personalities so i would like to know which person or who are the people you idolize and why ah yeah there are many uh, to idolize so i would like to begin with uh, ibn al azafan this is this is one of the physicists astronomer and a mathematician after that you know sir isaac newton i am a big follower and not i i think all the people around the world would be uh william herschel one of the most prominent astronomer who gave us the planet uranus you know the, how he did it and why he called stars as the ghost and how he taught his own son about it uh moving forward to, to just uh, joseph von fraunhofer fraunhofer had given us the ir lines he was the one who told us that there is an ir in in the universe definitely as albert einstein and uh, uh, one of the ladies i don't know whether people know her or not she is uh, harriet swan lewitt she was uh, the american astronomer in germany and she contributed on a parallax movement and also that why the universe behaves like this when the star is bright or star is uh, dim so what is the difference between them moving on to dr uh, uh, apj abdul kalam and uh, definitely ramanujan and jc bose these are the researchers scientists i i i really uh, you would say idolize a lot 
and I am a big follower and because of them, um, uh, I think I am able to pursue. They are the source of inspirations. Uh, those were some uh, variation of names, sir? Yes, uh, there, there are variations of names. Uh, along with Dr. Wunsch, Dr. Wunsch, if you type Dr. Wunsch, he's one of the most leading doctors from Germany who is talking about photobiomodulation and what has he done and the contribution. Like I am now pursuing uh, treatment of migraine, insomnia, stress management uh, uh, through lighting therapy and also through my patenting technology for office and residential lighting. So these are the people I think I would, if you want, I can type it and give it to you in case people miss out on this, that what names I have uttered, they must know what happened and why I, I advise them. Those are some great names, sir. I think idolizing many people is good. And also that you have taken so many characters that have different kinds of attributes like APJ Abdul Kalam, who has, you know, uh, lived a simpler life and achieved greater goals. And many other who had great experiences in their own field. So it was quite knowledgeable and informative. So now talking about careers, many people face various hardships in their career. So I would like to know some of the hardships you faced in your career and how you found inspiration from such situations. See, the marathon of my journey towards lighting started in the year 2000. And the first hardship I faced was I never knew anything about it. I thought even the word known as tube light or the lamp. So initially I struggled a lot, though I was a good salesman, but I struggled a lot to even understand what light was all about. However, moving forward in 2006, when uh, I attended one of the seminars on light and health in, I think I was in Switzerland, um, I asked some silly questions and uh, of course, people criticized that, you know, the, the way I have attended the seminar, why did I come if I don't know about this? And that was the time I thought I have to plunge myself into the books with people around me, resources, platforms. So that, you know, I learn a lot because I knew that there is a light uh, the connection between light and the health. And there is an immense amount of research over last uh, three, four centuries, which we have done. So finally, in the year 2015, I think I got the breakthrough uh, of getting a research platform through my friends, physiologists, doctors around the world, I would say. And again, I was... It was, a, it's a, it was a very hard time to understand photobiomodulation uh, for me because even coming from lighting background, understanding physiology and uh, neurobiology, retinohypothalamic uh, you know, hypothalamic phenomenon was, was a bit difficult for me. And I had to study a lot along with my job. And then, you know, uh, till now, while we are speaking, I am into this field. And yes, again, hardships are... I meet so many patients in my life and every every day rather. And also people who small, I would say young children, you know, I'm mean young kids who have developed migraine and stress just because of abuse of light, I would say, in their respective homes, respective offices. So there are hardships uh, which I faced and uh, I weighed into them um, with an enthusiastic manner and uh, accepted those challenges. Those were some great challenges, sir. And the way you tackled have made you into this great personality that we are seeing right now. Thank you. Moving ahead, besides your current profession, what profession would you like to explore? Okay. Currently, I am the country manager for Siemens and uh, I am also teaching online about light, health, radiations and wellness. I would like to pursue now uh, in a big way into medical profession in the sense uh, non-invasive uh, therapies, uh, also contributing towards uh, uh, office wellness uh, consultancy and therapy for office goers. Also for the way uh, COVID has changed our lives, work from home. So what happens to them, um, you know, contribution towards CBT, that is cognitive behavior therapy. This is what I would like to pursue now. Those are some great professions, sir. Uh, I think that this question was kind of irrelevant for you because you already have been exploring various kinds of professions and have been switching over them. So it's kind of nice to see a personality who is kind of exploring what he wants and, you know, have great experiences in many fields. 
<laughs> so coming to the next question what makes a failure best self or rejuvenate you from the daily workload and stress <laughs> okay uh, i am i like photography a lot and uh, that was one of the key parameters in my life which had brought very closer to me with the with the mother nature whether the insects the plants you know um, so uh, i generally pick up my camera i have a canon so with various lenses and i go out if i find some time though in mumbai you know there are no such places you can go but still i i probably try myself to get rejuvenated with that music is one another thing which i always like to listen and rejuvenate myself and the last thing is uh, either teaching or learning that makes me uh, rejuvenated and the last uh, is every saturday and sunday when i visit uh, those people who are in need of uh, light therapy i am talking about people who are who can't even pay afford for their medicine and giving them a non invasive therapy which is quite expensive and they are getting benefited out of it that makes me uh, rejuvenated sir so those are some great stress busters i guess and uh, it's a good deed that you are doing through your weekends i feel so i wish that you treat more and more people and help the needy thanks so now coming to the ic nota club i would like to ask what it means for you to be a member of this club see very honestly i was fortunate enough to get associated with the ic innovative club uh now this is the one of those clubs i would say that uh, which is very genuine um, uh, which can be labeled as very genuine club sincere club with pool of genius brains uh, with their you know an incalculable amount of work done in this field of health care and humanity you find very less uh, you there are clubs i'm not saying that uh, ic innovative club is the only one but there are few of them only in in india and probably in the world who are not doing on for the sake of profit and look at the pool of the brains which they have so i i label ic club like that moving ahead i would like to ask what are the functions that this club performs and how does it help a member to grow as an individual oh this club allows uh, the members to have a better penetration uh, i would say in the throng while being focused uh, on to the subject health and healthier this is what i am been um, observing and trying to contribute if i can uh, it also engages both the members and the attendees Or, or the readers to get education and not just information, which generally people get from Google. You know, education and information are two variant things, and people don't understand. But probably, you know, uh, this club uh, definitely has this function and performing so very well. That's a great answer, sir. So, for my next question, I would like to ask: What does innovation mean to you, considering the healthcare industry? <laughs> innovation itself is a the one of the most uh, utmost and the highest form of uh, grade uh, of an accomplishment i would say to innovate anything uh, it might take entire life of a person or groups or an organization um, uh, to get innovation and what better than innovation in healthcare that means to me probably that means the ocean of humanity unsailed uh, towards the enhancing their quality of lives and livings to me innovation in healthcare is like an ocean unsailed for the humanity and if somebody has sailing that ocean he has done his job for his entire life before his own departure true sir for my final question i would like to ask where can our listeners connect to you <laughs> i am more of a linkedin person and uh, i am on facebook yeah i do have my personal websites uh, my company's website and uh, definitely i as i told you that i am the country manager for cms so on their website also uh, apart from that i am little bit uh, there on the instagram and twitter the link to connect with the guest speaker mr girish bhardwaj will be down in the description before concluding i would like to thank mr bhardwaj for joining us on this podcast Thank you sir it was great being in presence and having a conversation with such a personality who has been exploring various professions which depicts your drive and curiosity which is amazing sir
Uh, I would say thanks to you, to the entire member, the the entire club, and uh, giving me this opportunity, and uh, rather giving me the motivation to excel in my field. Thanks a lot, and all the best to you all. Thank you, sir. The pleasure was ours to have you on this podcast. <laughs> Thank you very much. For concluding, I would also like to call out to our audience to leave a comment with a review and let us know whether you like the podcast. Drop down a comment if you have any podcast ideas or recommendations. You can also connect with us if you have a healthcare innovation journey of your own to be a part of our podcast series. And for more such content on healthcare and innovation, visit InnoHealthMagazine.com. Stay safe. Goodbye from your host, Rohan Tandil from InnoHealth Magazine Studio. Thank you.